and the costs around that. And before I lose track, um, I know you did talk about this concept of lifelong learning and I know that the member from Edmonton Riverview did already raise this issue of um, the accessibility of uh, loans and funding to part-time graduate students. And uh, I, you know, when oh, I think we've all met probably with the very keen uh, observers that um, are with us tonight, um, uh, raising issues on behalf of their membership. Um, but I was really quite surprised to hear about the, the limitation of um, access to funding for part-time graduate students. And frankly, I believe that it's, it's it probably arises or amounts to a, a form of systemic discrimination because I have no doubt that it impacts uh, quite unequally on women over men um, because uh, more often than not they're they're going part-time because of family responsibilities so I was encouraged to hear your response to the me member from Edmonton Riverview but I'm going to push it a bit further and ask you uh, can we expect to see changes to that pr program in order to ensure that um, uh, graduate students who are attending part-time will in fact be eligible for funding by a particular date and it probably would be too soon to suggest that that would be the case for <coughs> September 2011 but can we expect to see that change in time for September 2012? Well thank you and there was two or three questions there and so I'll, uh, I'll uh, touch on the first one first and I, and I think that it is critically important to continue to attract uh, uh, our, our, our students into uh, post-secondary but I believe it's critically important as well into the trade so I don't want to to in any way negate that and I, I just want to make sure the members are aware that we are working very hard. We have 50,000 uh, Albertans uh, studying in the apprenticeship program right now uh, that, are, that are training to be tradesmen and we, we think that's fabulous and we want to continue to, to see that uh, grow as well because they're going to help us build our province in the future along with all of our post-secondary students. Uh, and, and in our performance measures we have set a target for 2013-14 for 20 percent. We're looking at trying to increase it. We agree with you. We want more young people accessing our post-secondary. So we're going to continue to do that. Uh, the turnaway rate this year, 6,200 students uh, were unable to, uh, to get into the program that they wanted, mostly diploma and certificate programs. These weren't university entrants. These were people looking for a specific diploma or a uh, specific certificate. And typically they applied in one place. So we would assume they're folks that maybe have a, have, a, have a life or are working in a particular community, would like to go to school there. But, you know, we can't keep uh, incredible numbers of extra positions open across the entire province just in case someone wants to go. It's a balance of cost, of, of availability, and of quality. And so we try to make sure that where the need is, there are programs. But in Alberta, uh, we're, a, we're a wonderful big spread out place. And sometimes to get the program you need, uh, for example, if you want to be a lawyer, you will have to go to Edmonton or Calgary. Uh, it simply isn't available anywhere else. If you want to be a doctor or a, a dentist, it's available in certain locations. Uh, so, uh, and I see uh, some folks that uh, might not want to be lawyers, but, you know, I'm sure there's a lot. In fact, my daughter is telling me she wants to be a lawyer, and mm -hmm. I've tried to talk her out of it, but uh, uh, she's, uh, she's thinking very seriously about it. But, you know, uh, all kidding aside, um, it is critically important that we try to make positions available, but we're never going to have a spot for everybody exactly when they want to go and where they want to go. But uh, turnaway rates, we want to ensure that those that want to go to school as much as possible can. Accessibility to loans for part... Accessibility to loans the for part-time students? Pardon me? The previous years as well. I asked for the last three years of the turnaway rate. Uh, turnaway rates, uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get that. No, they were significantly lower. This is the... This is the peak here. And a lot of it is our uh, applications were way up this year as well for people wanting to enter. And I think it's partially got to do with the economy. Some people thought, you know, I'm, uh, I've been laid off or I'm a bit, why don't I take that certificate or, or upgrade my skills a bit that I was thinking about doing uh, before I go back to work. So I think because we did have a significant increase also in applications, which, of course, I, I guess if you look at 6,200 out of 100, uh, out of, I don't know, 40,000 applications this year, uh, that, that, that were accepted, um, it's still too many. Uh, but uh, for loans, uh, you know, many of the really good changes that have happened in our student finance have been ideas that came from the students. Uh, for example, increasing loan maximums last year. Students came and said, you know, we need an increase in loan maximums because some years that just isn't enough with the cost of living. It's not just about tuition, it's about rent and groceries and gas for the car. All those things that, that drive the cost of a student trying to, to get an education. So we understand that and we raise the loan limits. This is the first time we've actually had someone come forward and say, you know what, we believe that part-time students may have a need for, for financing as well. I guess in the past we'd assumed that 
that part-time students were largely working or something else and probably didn't need loans. But, but we've had our graduate students come and say, you know, if you're a graduate student working for, at a university for a fairly limited amount of money, uh, to continue your studies, loans could be great. Based on their, their coming forward, we're going to, to look at this to see how we could make it work. So yes, uh, we're committing to have a, a real good look at this opportunity because we believe our student finance program, our loans, bursaries, grants, and, and, and all of that has to meet the changing needs of our young people and our students. So uh, we're going to go ahead and work on that one. Okay, well, thank you. I, I had actually asked whether we could anticipate actually seeing that in time for September 2012, uh, but I've not gotten an answer on that. So maybe when you get up again, you can give me a yay or nay on that particular uh, 